Hey, it's February 2024. It's Black History Month. I'm really excited to share this with you. Um, I just finished a small collection of uh, stamps. Um, I'm not a philatelist. Um, I'm just a collector of historical things. Uh, what I have are the first 25 stamps in American history uh, that depict African Americans or um, uh, moments in American history or African American history. And uh, I, I think it's really cool. Stamps are really neat. They, they depict uh, great moments in American history or great achievements. And, or in most of the cases I'm, I'm going to show you, um, great Americans uh, in our history. Uh, I, I want you to look at this stamp here. I just got this recently. Um, this is the latest stamp um, of an African American in our history. Um, this is the 47th stamp of a series that started way back in 1978. It's called the Black Heritage Series. Uh, this is the latest one. came out on uh, January 31st, 2024 in New York, uh, New York City. And this stamp commemorates Constance Baker Motley. And she is amazing. Uh, she was the first black woman to argue a case before the U.S. Supreme Court. And, and not just one. She argued 10 landmark cases in front of the court. And she won nine of them. Um, she was a law clerk for Thurgood Marshall. Uh, she helped in the uh, Brown versus Board of Education case of 1954. Uh, she became the first African-American woman to become a federal judge. Uh, she's in the National Women's Hall of Fame. Uh, she received a Congressional Gold Medal, uh, Presidential Citizens Medal. I mean, this is uh, an amazing uh, American. And um, this stamp is called a forever stamp. Um, it, uh, and at the time it was issued, it was uh, worth 68 cents. So I, I'm going to start showing you this collection of the oldest 25 African-American stamps uh, in our history. And the first one is going to be actually the first one ever issued. And here it is, uh, the oldest uh, African-American stamp in, uh, in history. And this was, uh, this was issued uh, on April 7th, 1940 at the Tuskegee Institute in Alabama. Uh, the Postal Service had uh, a series then that was called the Famous American Series, and there were different groups uh, in that series. This was the third group. Uh, this was the uh, a group of five famous American educators, which started on March 14th of uh, 1940. Uh, they included Horace Mann, uh, Mark Hopkins, Charles Waylow, uh, Francis Willard, and then the last one in the educator series was this one, uh, Booker T. Washington. Uh, Booker T. Washington was the first leader of the Tuskegee Institute in Alabama. Uh, this guy was amazing. He was an educator. He was an author. He was an orator. He was a reformer. Uh, he was a statesman. He was a civil rights leader. Uh, he's the first African-American ever to be invited uh, to the White House. by, And, and he was invited by President uh, Theodore Roosevelt. Um, uh, an amazing person in history. And in 1940, a first class stamp was uh, just three cents. You'll notice on this one, uh, that the stamp is a 10 cent stamp. So it's kind of an added postage stamp, but it is the first time in American history that you have an African-American featured on a postage stamp. The second one in American history just came a few months later in October 20th, uh, 1940. And you'll notice on here uh, that it was from the World's Fair Station in New York City. Uh, toward the, uh, you know, towards the end of 1939 and into 1940, uh, New York hosted the, uh, the World's Fair in Flushing Meadows. And the post office issued this stamp commemorating the 75th anniversary of the 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Now, if you don't know what that is, I'm going to read it to you because it's, it's pretty important. Uh, section 1, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. And then Section 2 said that Congress shall have the power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. Now, this is the, this is the amendment that abolished once and for all slavery in America. And this, is, this stamp commemorates the 75th anniversary of that. And it's a regular uh, first-class stamp, three cents. Now, this next stamp, uh, the third one in the series, it's one of my favorite people in American history. Um, uh, this is um, uh, January 5th, 1948. It was issued in uh, or at the Tuskegee Institute again in Alabama, and it depicts uh, Dr. George Washington Carver. Uh, on the fifth anniversary of his death, he died in Tuskegee. 
Uh, Dr. Carver is, you know, he's just one of the greatest scientists in all of American history. Uh, his area of expertise was in the areas of agriculture uh, and biology. He was an inventor. He was an educator, as well as a native of Missouri, my home state. He's from uh, Diamond, Missouri, down in southern Missouri. Uh, this is a first class stamp at the time, just a normal three cent stamp. And so uh, Dr. Carver becomes the first African-American featured on a regular first class stamp. It's really, really beautiful stamp. Now, the next stamp uh, it's going to be a while later. Uh, now it's going to be April 5th, 1956. Um, again, it's going to be Booker T. Washington. Uh, this one was issued uh, at his birthplace in Virginia, uh, Hales Ford, which is in uh, Franklin County, Virginia. And this stamp commemorates the 100th anniversary of his birth, Booker T. Washington's birth. Now, three days prior to this stamp being issued, um, uh, the uh, birthplace was designated a national monument uh, within the National Park Service. I've been there. It's a really cool place to go. I highly recommend going there. Um, but uh, th this stamp came out three days later, and it's a first-class stamp. It was a three-cent stamp uh, for its time. Now we're into the 1960s, and you're going to start to notice uh, a little inflation. You're going to notice that the price of stamps are going to start going up. Uh, this was issued on August 16, 1963 in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, this stamp commemorates the Emancipation Proclamation, which was an executive order uh, by President Abraham Lincoln. Now, he did it on January 1st, 1863. So this the year uh, is the 100th anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation. And that changed the legal status of slaves in the Confederate States from being enslaved uh, to now being free. And this was a very significant factor for the ending of the uh, the Civil War uh, and the end of slavery in America because it's a prelude to uh, the 13th Amendment. And it's a, a, a normal uh, first-class stamp. Uh, it was a five-cent stamp. Now, this next one uh, came out on Valentine's Day, February 14th, 1967, in Washington, D.C. Um, between 1965 and 1968, or 78, actually, uh, the post office created the uh, prominent American series of stamps, and there were a total of 27 stamps in this series. Uh, they ranged from uh, one cent stamps to, I believe, a five dollar stamp. Um, this one was a 25 cent stamp, so that's kind of like added postage, and it was commemorating the achievements of Frederick Douglass. Now, Douglass is one of the most important civil rights leaders in American history. Uh, he, was a, he was an abolitionist uh, in the 19th century. Uh, he was a writer. He was a statesman. He was a reformer. Uh, he was a, a major advocate for women's rights and suffrage. Uh, and he was a former slave uh, as well. And uh, this is his first ever stamp um, in 1967. Now, I don't know. I really like this stamp. I, I just think it looks really cool. Uh, this came out on May 17th, 1969 in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, the price is going up now. It's a, a normal first class stamp, but it's six cents now. And it commemorates the achievements of William Christopher Handy, otherwise known as W.C. Handy. And Handy is considered to be the father of the blues. Um, he didn't create the blues. He didn't create that musical form, but he is the first one in history to actually publish uh, the music. And he helped take this music, uh, which was at the time just considered to be a, 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 a regional uh, musical style, which was called the Delta Blues. And he extended that through that publication uh, to uh, a national audience. And he forever changed uh, music in America. And I just love the blues. Uh, and, and I think this is a really, really cool stamp. So here we go. We're now into my lifetime. Um, I was two years old when this came out. Um, so I don't really remember it. Uh, this was on September 10th, 1973, and it was uh, issued in uh, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, price has gone up again. It's an eight cent stamp, and it's in honor of Henry Asawa Tanner. Uh, he is the first African-American painter uh, to gain international recognition. Now, he started studying art in 1879 in Philadelphia, but he later moved to Europe to study art. And, and by the way, that's a really big deal for an American to go to Europe. To be invited to Europe uh, means he was a great uh, painter. Uh, and he was. He was a painter. Uh, he was known for his paintings and drawings. 
Um, I'm going to butcher this name, uh, but I, I believe it's it's French. But he was elected uh, uh, Chevalier of the Legion of Honor, um, which is the highest honor uh, given in France. And so he is considered one of the great or the greatest, one of the greatest artists in all of American history. And his stamp was issued in 1973. Now, this guy is really, really cool. Um, uh, March 25th, 1975, uh, in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Uh, the price has gone up now. Uh, we have a 10 cent stamp now. This commemorates Salem Poor. And uh, he, was a, he was a war hero in the American Revolution. Uh, Salem Poor rose to fame after his actions at the Battle of Bunker Hill in 1775. Uh, he was at the Battle of Saratoga, uh, the turning point of the American Revolution in 1777. Uh, he was with George Washington at Valley Forge. Um, this stamp was a part of a series um, that was called Contributors to the Cause. And it was a special series that was a lead up to the 1976 Bicentennial Celebration. Um, the other uh, uh, people that were featured in the series were uh, Sybil Luddington, uh, Chaim uh, Solomon, and Peter Francisco. But Salem Poor was the only African American that was uh, featured in this, and um, it's a really, really cool stamp. Now, just a few weeks later, uh, on May 1st, 1975, we're going to have our next stamp. Uh, this was issued in Dayton, Ohio, and a uh, 10 cent stamp, and it was created uh, to celebrate uh, the great author and lyricist and poet Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Uh, the stamp was first issued in Dunbar's birthplace in Dayton. Uh, it became he uh, he became an internationally recognized poet uh, in the late 1800s. Uh, his work was noted for his use of uh, dialect form, uh, recalling scenes from the life uh, in in early American history. Uh, he obtained a job in the reading room of the Library of Congress. Uh, this guy was a genius, uh, and regrettably, uh, Dunbar died of tuberculosis at the age of 33. Um, at the time, there was no cure for it. Nobody could have survived it, but it's, it's hard to imagine what would have happened with him um, had he lived and, and all the work that he would have done. But um, even in his short life, uh, he is recognized as one of the great uh, poets and lyricists of American history, and he's featured on this stamp. Now, this next one is pretty historic. Um, this was issued on February 1st, 1978. Uh, it was issued in Washington, D.C. Uh, you are gonna, you can see that the price is now going up. It's now a 13-cent stamp. Uh, and this is the first stamp uh, by the Postal Service to be a part of what was, is going to be called the Black Heritage Series, which continues to this day. Uh, it was one of the last 13-cent uh, stamps uh, issued. Uh, just a short time later, uh, the... Postal Service raised it to 15 cents uh, back in 1978. Uh, and it features Harriet Tubman. And Harriet Tubman, amazing person in history. Uh, she was an escaped slave uh, who became one of the greatest conductors of the Underground Railroad. Um, she also served as a nurse, uh, a scout, a spy uh, for the Union Army during the Civil War. Um, she became an activist uh, for women's suffrage. Uh, this is one of, and by the way, uh, she's supposed to be uh, featured on the $20 bill here in the future. They're going to take uh, Andrew Jackson off there and put her uh, face on the $20 bill. So this is one of the most famous of all Americans, and she is the first African-American featured in the Black Heritage series. Now, the next one that's going to be issued, uh, this is going to be a 15-cent stamp, uh, uh, January 13th, 1979, in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, this is the first ever stamp of um, Martin Luther King Jr., uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, it is the second stamp of this Black Heritage uh, series. Um, it was issued three days after his birthday uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, Dr. King won the Nobel Peace Prize for his civil rights work. Uh, King is considered one of the greatest civil rights leaders in all of American history. Um, and, and seven years after this stamp was released, um, they're going to create a federal holiday uh, in his honor. Uh, probably the most famous 
African-American in all of American history. This is his first stamp. It was the second stamp of the Black Heritage Series. Uh, this is Dr. Martin Luther King. Now, this next one is very special to me. This is one of the, um, actually, I've had this envelope uh, since high school. Uh, I got this a long time ago. And this is, uh, again, this is a first day issue. Uh, it is the third stamp of the Black Heritage Series. And it is of uh, Benjamin Banneker. Uh, this is a 15 cent stamp. Uh, and it's comm it, it commemorates um, this mathematical genius uh, I, and he wasn't just a mathematical genius. He was a he was a naturalist. He was an astronomer. He was a surveyor. He was a farmer. He was an engineer. Uh, he he was the author of an almanac. Uh, he's the first African American uh, to be named to a presidential commission uh, to help plan the city of Washington uh, in the District of Columbia. Uh, Banneker had a personal correspondence with President uh, Thomas Jefferson. Um, I, I, I went to, uh, Howard County, uh, Maryland when I was in high school uh, on a field trip, uh, to learn about this guy. And I'm, I think that's where I got this envelope, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, but this is, uh, he was, he was just a genius and what a interesting person in American history. And this is a stamp uh, commemorating, uh, Benjamin Banneker. Now, on January 30th, 1981, in New York uh, City, uh, New York, uh, the fourth stamp of the Black Heritage Series was uh, issued, and uh, it was commemorating this civil rights leader uh, by the name of uh, Whitney M. Young, Jr. Um, it is uh, one of the last 18-cent stamps, uh, regular first-class stamps, produced before they raised the price to 20 cents in November of 1981. Uh, this guy uh, worked very closely with the NAACP. And then in uh, 1961, he became the executive uh, director of the National Urban League. Uh, he tirelessly worked towards ending uh, employment discrimination in the United States. Uh, he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1969. Um, unfortunately, he died um, rather young. Uh, he died in an accident in Nigeria in 1971. And President Richard Nixon uh, gave the eulogy at his funeral. Um, uh, this is a, a, a very, very famous civil rights leader, and he has a postage stamp in 1981. Now, this next stamp came out just a few months later in 1981, June 3rd. Uh, it was issued in Washington, D.C. It's a 35 cent stamp, uh, so it's like an extra postage stamp. Extra postage is a normal stamp, uh, was um, uh, just 18 cents. Um, and is the uh, fifth, or no, I'm sorry, it's the fourth of a different series of stamps. This is not the uh, Black Heritage series, but this is a series that was called the Great Americans series. Uh, this series, there were 63 stamps that were produced between 1980 and 1999, featuring various uh, Americans uh, throughout history. And this was the fourth one of that series, and it was of Dr. Charles Drew. Now, Drew was an American surgeon uh, during the 20th century who developed uh, blood banks, uh, blood transfusion techniques uh, during World War II. Uh, this, uh, the, this stamp was issued in uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, because he graduated from high school there, Dunbar High School in Washington, D.C. He is considered to be one of the greatest doctors in all of American history, and um, this is a really, really um, cool stamp of him. Now this next stamp, um, this is a 20 cent first class stamp. It was issued on uh, January 12th, 1982 in New York City. Uh, it is the fifth of the uh, stamps produced in the Great American series. Uh, that series was produced between 1980 and 1999. Um, this celebrates Dr. Ralph Bunch. And this is a guy who just doesn't get enough um, airplay in history. I mean, this guy needs to be talked about more in history classes. He, he is an amazing part of the 20th century. He is the first African-American to win the Nobel Peace Prize. He won it before Dr. Martin Luther King. And he won it for his work on uh, mediation uh, in Israel in the 1940s. Uh, he was a leading diplomat at the Dunbarton Oaks Conference in 1944, at the United Nations Conference in 1945. He worked uh, on the decolonization process throughout the world. Uh, as a diplomat. Uh, he worked as a civil rights leader in the United States. Uh, he was the winner of the Presidential Medal of Freedom. 
And at one point, he was the Undersecretary General of the United Nations. And you can see uh, on, the, on the stamp there, you can see the United Nations flag. But this is Dr. Ralph Bunch and his stamp, uh, rightfully so, was, you know, it, it needs to be issued and more people need to know about this guy. Uh, it was issued in 1982. Now, just a few months later, on August 2nd, 1982, and appropriately, this came out in Cooperstown, New York. Um, we're back to the Black Heritage series now. So this is the fifth stamp of that series. Uh, this is Jackie Robinson. And I think everybody knows who Jackie Robinson is, but I, I love baseball history. Uh, and, and, and then to have black history and, black, and baseball history together, uh, this is this is a win-win. Um, this is a 20 cent stamp. Uh, this was issued 10 years after Jackie Robinson's death and 20 years after his induction uh, into the Baseball Hall of Fame. He is the first African-American uh, in baseball, in Major League Baseball, and he's considered one of the greatest baseball players of all time. Um, he became active in politics. Uh, he became active in the civil rights movement. Uh, and today in baseball, he is celebrated. Uh, his number 42 has been retired uh, by Major League ba Baseball and, uh, and honored. Um, and uh, what, a, what a cool stamp. Uh, what a, uh, just, uh, this is one of my favorite stamps uh, is the uh, Jackie, Robin stamp, uh, Jackie Robinson stamp from 1982. Now the next one that's going to come out uh, in the Black Heritage series, this is the sixth stamp in that series, uh, came out on uh, June 9th, 1983 in Sedalia, Missouri. And it celebrates the accomplishments of Scott Joplin. Uh, his stamp was a regular first class stamp, 20 cent stamp at the time. Uh, Joplin is considered one of the greatest composers in American history. He is known today as the king of ragtime. Uh, for, he produced over 40 ragtime musical pieces. I, I think he did a couple operas and I, I, just just uh, a lot of work uh, from, from Scott Joplin. Uh, he lived in Sedalia, Missouri. Uh, he worked there as a piano teacher. And while he was there, he published uh, the, the greatest ragtime song of them all, uh, The Maple Leaf Rag, uh, in 1899. So this is his stamp from 1983. Now, this is another one that I've had for many, many years. Uh, I think I got this. I think I actually got this in 1984. Um, uh, the stamp was first issued on February 1st, 1984. I was on a field trip in Washington, D.C. I went to high school near there. Uh, this is the seventh stamp in the Black Heritage series. Uh, it's a normal 20 cent first class stamp at the time. And it commemorates the accomplishments of Dr. Carter Woodson. And this is one of my favorite people in history. Uh, he is a historian. Uh, Woodson is considered uh, the father of black history. And he is the founder of what is called the Association for the Study of Afro-American Life and History. Uh, his work uh, led to the creation of Black History Month. Uh, Woodson was a, he was an author, he was a teacher, uh, and of course he was a historian. And uh, um, and, and I think it's appropriate that this was issued on February 1st because it is the first day of Black History Month. Um, and uh, it was also uh, that, that particular year, uh, February 1984, it was a part of the Black History theme by the association that he did found. So a really cool guy in history, uh, Dr. Carter Woodson. Now, on March 5th, 1985, in Washington, D.C., um, this stamp came out. It was the seventh stamp in the Black Heritage series. Uh, the price is going up again. Okay, we're up to 22 cents a stamp now. Uh, this one commemorates the accomplishments of Mary McLeod Bethune. And Bethune was a prominent educator. Uh, she was a civil rights activist and a philanthropist uh, in, the, in the 20th century. Uh, she founded the National Council of Negro Women in 1935. Uh, she was appointed by President Franklin Roosevelt as a national advisor. Uh, that created the Federal Council on Colored Affairs. Uh, she started a college in Florida that still is there today. It is known as Bethune-Cookman University. Uh, and in the 1940s, uh, she, was, uh, she was known all over America as the female <laughs> Booker T. Washington. Um, but she's a, great, uh, she's a great American in her own right. And uh, this is her stamp uh, from 1985. Now, the next one came out on February 4th, 1986 in uh, New Paltz, New York. Uh, it was the eighth 
uh, stamp of the Black Heritage Series, 22 cent uh, first class stamp, and it commemorates Sojourner Truth. Um, uh, she's one of the most famous um, African Americans in history. Uh, she was an abolitionist. Uh, she was an advocate for women's rights and uh, and suffrage. Uh, she was a leader in the temperance movement in the in the 19th century, uh, and she was a civil rights leader. Uh, so Jerner Truth was the first black woman a woman uh, to win a legal case uh, in court against a white man, in, uh, and that was that was pretty a uh, big deal at that time. Uh, she was a public speaker. Uh, she was a recruiter for the army in the Civil War. And she is considered to be one of the most significant Americans in all uh, of our history. And this is her stamp uh, that was issued in 1986. Now, a short time later, uh, on April 29th, 1986, in New York, um, the post office issued this stamp. Now, this is a different series. Uh, between 1978 and 1987, uh, the Postal Service issued uh, 12 stamps as a part of a new thing that was called the Performing Arts Series. Um, this is the ninth stamp in that series. Uh, I think there were 12 total. It's a 22 cent first class stamp and it commemorates Duke Ellington. And Ellington is considered to be one of the greatest composers in American history. Uh, his orchestra made historic appearances at the Cotton Club in Harlem, New York. Um, in 2009, Ellington became the first African American to appear by himself on a coin, uh, the District of Columbia Quarter. Uh, he won the P Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1969, and um, I believe he's on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So this is his stamp. It was a different series, the Performing Arts series, uh, but his stamp came out in 1986. Now this next one was issued on May 28, 1986, uh, short time after uh, Duke Ellington. Yes, there really is a city uh, in Alaska called North Pole, Alaska. It's, it's near uh, Fairbanks, Alaska. And uh, in 1986, the Postal Service created, um, well, they actually had four stamps come out on the same day. Uh, and it was called the Arctic Explorer Series, and they were all 22 cent stamps. And they featured uh, great explorers uh, of the Arctic, uh, like uh, Alicia Kent Kane, uh, Adolphus uh, Washington Greeley, and uh, Wiljamar uh, Stefansson, um, but this one uh, in particular, this one actually has two people on it. Uh, it was the fourth stamp in that series, and it features Robert Perry um, in the foreground, and then in the background uh, is uh, the African-American explorer, Matthew Henson. Now, Perry was the leader of the first expedition to actually make it to the geographic North Pole. Uh, he was the leader of that expedition. However, uh, in the expedition uh, was Matthew uh, Henson. And Henson, uh, an African-American, he was actually the first human being. Um, uh, he was in the expedition, but he's the first human being to actually stand on the North Pole. Um, and today uh, he is uh, buried at uh, Arlington National Cemetery. And this is, uh, this is his stamp uh, from 1986. Now, this envelope is the biggest I have in this small collection. Um, uh, it's a first day issue, and it came out on uh, February 20th, 1987 in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, it was the ninth stamp of the Black Heritage Series, and it celebrates uh, the accomplishments of Jean-Baptiste Pointe du Sabel. Uh, he was the first non-native settler uh, in the area that is known today as Chicago. Uh, near the mouth of the Chicago River. Um, there's a statue in Chicago that uh, is there commemorating him. Uh, I have this envelope. It's a little different than the other ones that I have um, because if you can see there in the red velvet, uh, there is a 22 karat gold stamp replica of, uh, of uh, his stamp. And it's really kind of cool. It's a 22 cent stamp. Um, and it commemorates the, the, the guy who started Chicago, uh, Illinois. Now, this is it. This is the last one uh, that I have in the collection. This was the 25th uh, stamp uh, in American history uh, that uh, celebrates uh, African-American or a moment in African-American history. And this came out on February 2nd, 1988 uh, in Nashville, Tennessee. It is the 10th stamp of the Black Heritage Series. 22 cent stamp. Um, 
I was a junior in high school uh, when this came out, and it's in celebration of the American author and poet James Weldon Johnson. Uh, now, he wrote, uh, he wrote lyrics uh, as well as poems. Uh, he wrote lyrics for a very famous song called Lift Every Voice and Sing, uh, which today uh, is uh, better known as the Black National Anthem. Uh, he was appointed by President Theodore Roosevelt uh, to be uh, the U.S. Consul to Venezuela, and then later the U.S. Consul to uh, Nicaragua. Uh, he was a leading figure in the NAACP and later became a professor of literature and writing at Fisk University um, in Nashville, and that's why this stamp was, uh, was issued in Nashville, Tennessee. So this is it. This concludes uh, my small collection um, uh, the first 25 stamps uh, in American history that, that celebrate accomplishments uh, and moments uh, in African-American history. And I hope you enjoyed it.